Okay guys, you guys were asking how to do a sugar shake, so I figured we'd make a quick video. First thing you need is a good size open wide mouth jar, got some number eight, number six cream, whatever, it'll be fine. Mark your line where a half cup is, half cup equals 300 bees. That's very important, we'll go over that in a minute. Next thing you want to do, go ahead and remove your lid so you're ready. Set your open jar here. You just got an empty little shoebox container. That's what we're going to use to dump the bees into. You go into your hive and you select a frame that's brewed. You want to go to your brood frame. That's where all your emergent bees are. That's where your varroa mites are going to be coming out. You want a really good varroa check. So that's what we're checking for. So uh, went ahead and selected a frame out of the brood nest. Give it a quick once over. Make sure your queen's not in there. See, that's a nice solid. I've got emerging uh, bees coming out. Take it. Everyone is squeamish. Look away. Take this, knock your bees down in there. Set your frame back to the side. You got time, no sense to really rush. Just knock them down to the bottom. Now go ahead and fill your jar to that line. Or you can count each bee out. Make sure there's exactly 100, or sorry, 300. So that line makes 300 bees. Put your jar lid on there. Dump all your extra bees back in the hive. Some hives will be a little bit more laid back than others. My hives happen to be pretty laid back right now. Next thing you're going to get is some good dry powdered sugar. If it's lumping up, don't use it. Get some good dry powdered sugar. Take your hive tool. Go inside. Grab you a heaping load of good dry powdered sugar. Tap it all down in there. Just work that powdered sugar down inside. Then if you feel like you want to, just go ahead and throw your second one in there. It won't really hurt. Really high humidity days, you want a little bit extra in there because they have a tendency to get a little wet and stick. So uh, go ahead and knock that powdered sugar in there. Any extra, just knock off in the hive and uh, put there. And you literally just sugar shake, shaking up the bees. We're using that powdered sugar to dislodge the varroa mites from the honeybee. And then we'll just set it aside in the shade and we'll go over here and we'll shake the bees about every three to five minutes until we get to 10 minutes. And at the 10 minute mark, we'll shake the bees up. And uh, we'll shake the roller mites out with the sugar. So, how do you do that and how do you check that? Everybody's like, well, how do you count the roller mites? Well, the way you do that, get your uh, outer cover here, great surface to work with, spray a little water on it. White paper towels work great. Just plain old white paper towel. A little water on that top. Guess what? Paper towels now stick. So, I've got a jar I've had sitting here for a few minutes now. It's been about 10 minutes. We've gone through and we keep shaking them. This came out of the other hive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake out the varroa mite on this paper. Come on over here and get a close look at this. All right. So what we're doing is we're literally shaking the varroa mites off these bees. And we're gonna get a count. The threshold limit here in North Carolina and Eastern North Carolina, what we've been told, is 3%. If you go over 3% in your sugar shake here, you need to treat your bees. So, looks like right now I've got quite a few varroa mites in this hive. There goes the hive beetle. Look at there. So we're going to check it. And yes, I am being a little rough with the bees, but. If you can't afford to lose 300 bees, you shouldn't even have them because you have 1,500 to 3,000 bees in each hive born and die each day. So I would rather have a good number check to make sure I'm going to make sure I have good healthy, healthy bees to go through the winter than to uh, just guess at what my grower count is. So I've kind of worked this paper towel here and I checked them and the bees are moving around pretty good. That was a sugar shake. It does beat them up pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking the water. And I'm spraying this. Well, this hive has a hive row account. Look at there. 
Let's come up here and see if you can see these. As you spray water on them, they'll start moving around. This hive has got a really high viral count. It's got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen rollers and three hundred. So take sixteen divided by three, and what do you get? <laughs> yeah, so oh, we're at the five percent mark. So you know, almost six, um, which means we need to treat and treat now. Uh, five percent is critical, so this hive will be receiving treatment of some sort. So I will be making plans here in the near future to treat this hive. But right now, I do have honey supers on, and so I have to be figuring out which treatment will be best if I wait to pull my uh, honey supers or. Do I go ahead and yank them now and do a treatment or do I treat with them all? So these bees seem to be doing fine. If I had really killed them all, I would have just dumped them on the ground near the hive or disposed of them in another area. But these seem to be doing all right. The bees will clean them up. Just dump them right back on the top of the hive. The bees will clean them all up. They go right back to work. Any dead ones they'll carry off. But that's the basics of a sugar shake. Have a good one.